Hello, Sagittarius. So, welcome to this reading. This is for the next three months, the uh, this next quarter of the year, uh, July, August, September. And don't worry, I am still doing the monthly readings for all those months, so July will be coming out soon. Don't worry about that. They'll be more in depth. But people have been asking me to do yearlies, and uh, the problem with yearlies is they're just not accurate because too much can change. I've been sounding like a broken record today. I've said this in the beginning of all the videos that I've been doing for the three months readings. Uh, but, you know, too much can change over a year. You can change any way. You can change something tomorrow if you want that you don't like about the reading, although you have an incredibly positive reading. Uh, so just know that. And, uh, you know, let's just jump right in. So basically what I wanted to do is just a quick summary. These are just three card readings, very short, quick, of the energies that will be surrounding you for the next three months. Basically things that you can take advantage of, things to avoid. You have nothing to avoid. Don't worry about it. Uh, and, you know, things that will help you along in, in your situation. So crazy thing about Sagittarius, I went back and I watched some of your older videos. You've been getting a lot of diamonds cards and you have the best diamond card right here in the deck. Um, this is the Ace of Diamonds, of course, and it represents great success with finances and feeling happy and a change, a change, change for the better in your financial situation, usually. And it's, you know, it's always good. It always comes in the form of good news as well. Usually it's like a promotion. If you have a business, better better things happening to you in business more money coming in through your business more money coming to you through your job a promotion all these things i want to say i said that to you last week in the june 22nd readings that these energies were there for like a promotion or, or better finances and all of that like i said it's really it's the best financial card that you can possibly get you're going to be in an incredible financial situation you have three diamonds cards you know, pretty much very heavily financially dominated reading here. So I think that's going to be your main focus. The other thing I will say is that if a lot of you might be starting your own business or thinking about starting a business, I would say definitely go for it. The, the energy is right. It's there. The success is there. If you're looking for a new job, same thing. The success is there. The job is there you're going to get it. If you're looking for more money at your job, go and ask for it because you're going to get it. it. It it's it's kind of like one of those things where it's almost guaranteed that you're going to be getting these things from the, from the universe really. Next you have the jack of diamonds. Again, this is just the archetypal energy that is surrounding you. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is just the archetype, the energy that's kind of going to be surrounding you. So you'll be feeling very successful. I think you'll be feeling very young as well, young at heart. You know, you'll, I think you'll be feeling great. You'll you'll be feeling like you want to have fun. This person, this guy, he likes to have a lot of fun. He likes to go out. He likes to enjoy himself. I think with the money, I think just pure money coming into you, I think you'll just be like kind of like wanting to just lounge and just relax for once and just kind of like take it all in and have some fun that maybe you haven't had in a very long time. The great thing about this card is that he is very, very responsible as well. So it's like, yes, you'll be having this money coming into you, but you'll be very responsible with it. And you'll be treating the money with respect, which is important. Not enough people treat money with respect, the respect that they should. Uh, now, money is just energy as well. People you know, give money way too much power, but it, all it is is energy. And you can change your money situation very quickly and all that. So, But as an energy, it demands respect. These people are very, you know, the thing about the jacks is it's the, the jacks, they use their instincts as well in business and in their job. So, you know, you'll be very, I think you'll be very good at doing that the next three months about knowing when to do things, using your instincts for success, knowing when things will be successful. It's also a card of looking for opportunities, like looking for things to take advantage of in, in your job and in, in, in your business and or just in your money situation in general. It's almost like if you see something in, in your job that, you know, you think, hey, wait a minute, I could go take advantage of that job and, and you know, it's like I could do it and I don't want anybody else to go get that job, then go and get it. 
because you will get it. That's what this guy does. He's very, like I said, he sees opportunities before anybody else does, takes advantage of it, and then benefits for the long run. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. So again, with the diamonds, like I said, you have three diamonds cards, very financially heavy. Eight of Diamonds is a new, it's newness. It's new stuff coming in. It is a new job. It is a new business. Or it's just new new situations in those in those places if you have a business it's new business if you have a job it's just new situations coming in and, and helping you out financial as well these are things that you earned they're things that you deserve like i say eight is the infinity symbol sideways it represents an exchange of energy this always comes to you as a result of an exchange of energy remember this guy he sees opportunities that he knows how to take care of how to how to take advantage of that's what this card is saying take advantage of the the situation because again exchange of energy you need to exchange energy to take advantage of these opportunities but do it you will get them and you will be extremely extremely successful this month or the next three months i should say so thank you for watching this video i think you have a great you know a great three months ahead of you a lot of people you know one thing I will say is a lot of people ask me, you know, why I don't focus on love? Why I don't focus, you know, why do I, why are my readings usually like kind of one focused or, you know, sometimes they're everything. Well, you know, I just go by the cards. It's like psychic energy doesn't work really like saying, oh, this is just, you know, this spot is for love. This spot is for money and, and so on. Sometimes just the, what you need to know is what you need to know. And that's what I get. So that's what I deliver. But I will say the thing about the ace is that if you're looking for love, if you want love, it is available to you uh, to, to go get. You know, the thing about these ace cards is they do represent change in your entire life, not just financial, no matter what. So if you're looking for a change in your love situation, if you're looking for a change in your life, uh, with this card, it does demand work. So what does that mean? It means that you have to, you know, if you're single, it means that you actually have to go out and try to meet somebody. If you're... If you're not single and you're in a relationship but you want love, communicate. I say that a lot, and I might have even said that in one of your past readings, is that if you are in a relationship and you want love, you just have to ask for it. Pretty much every single time I read for a couple or somebody and they're having issues, it always comes down to communication, which might sound obvious, but typically, you know, the one side is willing to give more love, it's just the other side just isn't asking for it. So just know that if you communicate, it's there for you. So thank you for watching this video. Enjoy the next three months. I mean, I think it's going to be very, uh, you know, very successful for you.